field. You are back, obviously, in a very comfortable environment there in Texas. Now, you hit more home runs in the old ballpark than any other park you've played in in your career, and you put this one now in your book as well. Uh, let's talk about that at bat in the fourth inning with Byron at first base. What were you looking for? What'd you get? Um, nothing in particular, you know, something that I can drive. Uh, I put good water on the baseball, and uh, thank God went out of the stadium. Now, obviously, you don't get the hot humidity, that Gulf Stream out to right field like you had when you were outdoors, but I imagine some of the creature comforts of this new ballpark make it a nice place to play. Definitely. It's a beautiful beautiful ballpark, you know. I think one of the best uh, and only. Um, the fans are awesome, you know. It was a great crowd. Um, they definitely does an extra boost for players uh, if you look for energy, so reason to play, you know. Nelly, talk about the crowd there because we kind of enjoyed it from here, from you know, hearing the fans and seeing the fans. You came around right before you got to third base, obviously uh, blowing a kiss to somebody. Was that your fan group out there that uh, – or you promised somebody that you would hit them a home run? Uh, that was my daughter was there. She there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you tell her to come to the ballpark today that you were going to maybe do something like that for her? Or do you ever do things like that? Um, yeah, she, she, she was here yesterday and today, so she'll be here tomorrow. Uh, so um, always nice to do something good again in front of your family. How, you, you know, Nelson, on, how does this ballpark play? We talked to uh, Arise uh, yesterday. He said it's a fast track infield. But also he says from the hitter standpoint, the backdrop. You, you do see the ball well here. Um, yes, I got some issue with the timing. Uh, I think the mound is kind of higher than normal. Uh, we have to check that out, but um, <laughs> the timing is not right. Something is is cricket uh, to to be able to time the ball. Um, you either way in front or way behind, and that's not like common, you know. So something is cricket up there. Yeah, I just worry that when you're in the batter's box, you got all those people eating like right behind you. You got the food and the <laughs> drinks and the babies back there. I mean, it's like you're playing in a in, in a public park. Byron Buxton caught the last ball. He was on first base when you hit the ball out. Uh, he forced an error with his speed down the line. What just overall, aside from the, the pure numbers that we could recite, what is his impact when you can pencil him into the lineup? I mean, the, the last fly ball was a great example. You know, you they hit a fly ball, you see, oh, Boxing is there. Okay, the game is over. It doesn't matter where the ball is hit. He will find a way to go the ball. Um, so it's definitely uh, a release. We know that uh, we have the best center field in the league uh, playing behind you. And and today was a great example. You know, he he impacted the game so different ways and definitely be missing a lot. Nelly, I want to ask you here, you talked about Buxton. Yes, great player coming back. But at the same time, we lose a player, uh, a player that uh, the whole team really kind of likes. Did you have a chance to talk to Williams Osadio and, and kind of put your arm around him? And if, what advice, if any, did you give him? Yeah, definitely we talked. I mean, he's uh, we we're really close. Um, when, as soon as I got the news, I went and talked to him. Uh, you know, my advice was just to keep, keep working, you know, uh, go out there and – Today, he don't have to go and take practice. And I tell him, you go there and, and support uh, your teammates. Um, you'll be back in at some point as soon as you can. Um, just go out there and, and, and do your job, you know. Nelson, the last one, we'll let you get with your teammates. You get a series win. You've won three straight games. Both of these games have been grinder games. I mean, nothing easy. It hasn't been one guy doing all the work. I mean, the biggest play of this game might have been Luisa Rice not getting hit by a pitch by a millimeter to allow a guy to score. Polanco stealing a base to set up your intentional walk last night. These have been team wins top to bottom, haven't they? It seems like every game that we win is like that, you know. It, it doesn't come easy for us. Uh, Dog back through the ball amazing today. So at the end of the day, it's about pitching, you know. Um, definitely, we be we have been pitching the last two games, uh, the last three games, and and, and show up uh, the winnings and losses, you know. So um, hopefully, pitching is is keep uh, doing the job, you know. And we as often score one more run than than the other guys.